Hola chicas y chicos. Oh, I have a hair in my mouth. Um, so I have a video for you guys today. As you guys can tell by the thumbnail, by the title, this monomer was a complete fail for me. I'm talking about complete disaster. So this is the second video I'm doing on this series of trying to find of trying to find a odorless monomer or like a scented one that doesn't give out that strong smell so you can do nails with in your house. So the first video I did was on the Koopa monomer. I'll leave that link down in, in the description bar below. Honestly, I should not have started with the Koopa one because it's the only one I've been using ever since. Like I haven't even touched any other monomer that I have because I did buy a couple to test them out and stuff like that. But Koopa is where it's at, you guys. Definitely go and check it out. And uh, I mean, I highly, highly recommend that monomer. But anyway, so today we're talking about the nail light monomer. And you know what? I thank you guys so much because you guys are always leaving me comments like, thank you for your honesty, this and that. And that makes me feel so good because sometimes I feel like I don't want to get attacked, you know, like um, because I feel like I'm putting this video out there and I tend to have like a hyper personality or whatever whatever it is and i tend to say stuff but some most of the stuff i say sarcastically or if i hate something i'm gonna say it you know um i'm not gonna sugarcoat it or whatever because it's my money that i'm spending on this stuff and it's my personal opinion i'm not saying i'm a professional nail tech i am like still like at the loading bar <laughs> you know i have improved some but like i'm not even that good um so i just put my stuff out there because this is just kind of like me um, learning to do acrylic nails and you know like for you guys to see if I'm getting better or not I don't know it's just kind of like a cute little journey that we can go at like go through together or you guys can just watch me fail miserably like I don't know but um, I'm entitled to my opinion and I like putting it out there and stuff but sometimes I am afraid because I don't want any type of backlash because I don't mean any harm to the companies or anything like that like nail light like I'm pretty sure they're amazing people but the odorless monomer for me sucked ass you know um it ruined my acrylic brushes and it is what it is so this this nail set that i'm showing you guys right now i did use this nail light monomer it is an odorless monomer i bought it off of amazon and um i did look at the comments some comments were positive some comments were negative so again buy at your own risk i mean this video me telling you i had a negative experience with it Still, if you decide to try it out, you could have possibly a good um, experience with this monomer. I just didn't. So I did use this monomer. I did two nail sets with this monomer. And after that, I threw it away. It was not worth it. So the first nail set I did was only, um, it was on my practice hand. I don't know if you guys remember my marble um, disaster blooming gel nails i'll link that video in the description bar below as well i did notice that i was starting to have issues with this monomer but again i just thought it was me because i was still beginning to do nails i thought it was just the way i was applying um i didn't really my head didn't really go towards like oh it's um it's the monomer so when i did that nail set i only had two kiara sky acrylic brushes at the time when i did the blooming gel one it ruined one of my brushes so again i was blaming myself for that i was like oh i'm probably not cleaning the acrylic out correctly because the acrylic was getting stuck into the in the brush and i was like okay maybe i'm not wiping on the napkin as much as i should be i should be dipping it more in the monomer and cleaning it out so i didn't think anything of the monomer now when i did this nail set on my daughter um i saw that it was the monomer not the brush not how i was applying i mean i still was so horrid at applying but let me just tell you something that acrylic that i was using on my daughter the jelly look to it it is so freaking cute and i am thinking about doing like using that again trying to like redo this nail set but like do it at the um knowledge that i have now the skill <laughs> if any that i have now um i think that would be really cute because that um acrylic powder was super cute 
but anyway so i was noticing that um my my brush was getting really hard and stuff and then when i was applying the acrylic it was kind of leaving an indent in the acrylic of the brush because the brush was getting really hard so um it ruined my second kiara sky brush and then i decided to grab all my other brushes i was like i'm about to finish this nail set <laughs> i'm taking one for the team i'm sorry brushes but these brushes um other than these two kiara sky brushes the other brushes um weren't that much um quality brushes they were just like amazon brushes um random brushes that i had picked up at like i don't even know like random little stores they said they were kalinsky but i could just tell the difference for my kiara sky brushes and these brushes so i didn't mind ruining these brushes to finish up my daughter's nail set so um that's what happened they got really hard they um it was just sticking together they were not soft at all it was just a nightmare so i was able to finish that nail set on my daughter i think they look really cute so i would like to see myself do that nail set again and see what it would look like you know what i'm saying but anyways yeah so that was my experience with the nail light monomer once i finish applying um applying it on her nails and stuff the difference between the koopa and the nail light was that i did not need to um, cure the nail light in the lamp for it to dry or I, my daughters didn't need to um she didn't need to wash her hands with warm water there was not really like a sticky layer at the top if you guys know what I mean if you guys work with odorless or you heard talk about this um which still is not a big deal it does happen with the Koopa one but honestly it's not a big deal at all guys don't be scared of that um but with the with the nail light one um I didn't have that happen I didn't um there wasn't no like sticky layer on there I didn't need to cure she didn't need to wash her hands i just went in and i filed normally and you know basic nail steps and stuff like that but yeah oh my god i'm talking and it's just like <laughs> as i'm being a cheese mosa and like i just can't keep up <laughs> um so anyways yeah so that's what happened and i did and have to end up throwing away all my brushes and i also had to invest in dun -dun -dun -dun. Kiara Sky brushes. So yes, let me tell you something. I went in and I bought the whole brush bundle and it was a total of, here, let me give you guys this part right here, $306. So I didn't pay all of that up front. I did Klarna because a bitch can't afford that right now. <laughs> um, so this was a while ago, guys. This happened like around June. I did need to go ahead and invest in these brushes. Um, because I absolutely love Kiara Sky acrylic brushes. And if you guys feel like you're struggling with your acrylic application or whatever it is, I highly recommend getting one Kiara Sky brush and just giving it a try. And because when I did that, honestly, it was everything. So I did went ahead and I already opened this because I took out, I believe, the brush size number 14. And that's the one I've been using lately to do all of my, um, all of my nail sets. On my daughter's, I use the, the 14. So this is just what they look like. The bundle basically means you get one brush in all of their sizes and it comes in a cute like ombre pink color. So yeah. And also a lot of you guys have been recommending <laughs> I change my brush size to a smaller one. I've tried eight before. I cannot do eight. Like it's just too small for me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm either going to try a 10 or possibly a 12 next. This is a 12. And I'm thinking maybe of doing a fun little cute giveaway with some of these. So stay tuned for the new year, guys. Um, it's going to be hella fun. So make sure you guys stick around and stuff like that. But anyways, yeah, so that's what happened. I had to end up buying um, these new acrylic brushes. And I mean, it's worth it. I feel like if you if you invest in good brushes then you're investing in your learning as well um so that's what i did um so i if it were up to me and i was telling you guys because this is my second video in this series i would not recommend the nail light odorless monomer now it did do its job of not smelling there was no smell coming from this monomer at all if you're still interested in purchasing it um like i said uh, I'm going to leave the link to the one I purchased down in the description bar below. Maybe I just got a bad one from the batch, but I don't know because there are in the comments. I did go back into the comments after I had this horrible experience with it. And I read that people, some people were having the same issues that I was, but other people were entirely loving it. So 
I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I would say purchase at your own risk, but out of my mouth, you're not going to hear the words I recommend it because I do not stay away. Satanas. Um, but yeah, so before when I started doing nails, I started with like the purple liquid that they use at the nail salons. Let me go get it. All right. So this is the monomer that I started doing nails with. I bought two of these. So this was my second one. But this smell is super strong. Like, I don't get any headaches from none of... Like, I'm okay with all of these scents. It does nothing to me. But I do have children. I have... um My youngest is three and stuff. And I didn't want her inhaling this all the time. And with this, I had to go do nails in my backyard. Like, it sucks. Like, especially in the summer, it's so hot. You got all these freaking mosquitoes and stuff and moscas. Like, get away from me. So, <laughs> I had to do nails outside. And even when I did nails outside with this the smell would still come into the house and linger for days. This was definitely a no-no. So after I purchased that one, I got, this is a not polished low odor monomer. So this was not part of my series because the ones that, I'm, that I got are like odorless monomers, but this is the one I was using after I used the purple one. This one is also my second bottle and I think it's like up to right here. So the thing with this one is, For me, it, it's definitely low. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not that low, <laughs> but it is a uh, way lower than this scent. Um, so it is low odor because of that, but still cannot do nails in the house with this one. The positive thing with this one was when I was outside, it didn't linger into the house, but I still had to do nails outside the house. And I even tried buying the not polished neutralizer from low odor to no odor. And I even made a video with this. I'll link it down in the description bar below. This did not work at all. Para nada. Esto no sirvió para nada. Let me tell you, I still had to go and finish the nails outside because this did not do what it says it does. Um, so yeah, so then after that is when I did the Koopa video for you guys with this one. And you guys hear that? Emptiness. <laughs> I'm so sad. But yeah, um, this one is my favorite monomer so far from the low odor ones because so far I've only used this one and the nail light one and nail light ruined my brushes this one is amazing um so I highly highly recommend this one so the series is far from done guys I still have a bunch of other monomers to try out and stuff but it's just kind of like giving you guys a recap of what I've used and stuff like that so yeah so thank you guys so much for sticking through this video I know I tend to ramble and talk a lot I'm so sorry. I like, I space out. I just love talking. I love giving you guys information, everything that's in my head, like, you know, but anyways, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have tried the Koopa one since my last video. I did have a bunch of you guys in my comments telling me you wanted to try it or you ordered it. Let me know how that has been going with you guys, or let me know if you guys have tried the nail light one before and Tell me if your story is different from mine. Have you had luck with the nail light one or is your story similar to mine and did it like ruin your brushes and just make you stress so badly? Like, because that's what it did to me. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.